Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today in this video we are going to discuss game tree in artificial intelligence that is very important topic. So along with the introduction to game trees I will definitely share with you its important characteristics with some real life examples. With the help of real life examples you will definitely give, uh, get a clear idea about how we can use game trees in real life games. Alright so now let's just start the session. So students game tree is nothing but it is just a tree like structure as we all know how a tree like structure looks. So this is how a tree like structure looks in any system right. So game tree is basically a tree like structure that represent all possible states. So this is what this is a possible state. This can also be a possible state here this can also be a possible state. All right. It represents all the possible states and moves of a game from initial state to its terminal state. So students whenever we play online game we have one initial state. Let's say for example we are playing chess. So one is the initial state from where we have started the game and then step by step by checking all the possible states we move to the terminal state. Let's say this is the terminal states where you, uh, it is a chance that you will win. Alright, so this is a game tree that is generally used in all the online games where we use artificial intelligence systems. So game tree is a conceptual representation of all the possible moves in a game starting from the initial position and branching out to show subsequent moves by all the players. Alright. So some components of game tree include its root node. Here the topmost node is called the root node, right? It is the initial state. Initial state of a game. Another is the branches. Branches ko we can also say edges. So this is that is the connection between the two states is called the edge. It is called the branch. Alright. It represents possible moves from one state to another. For example, from this particular state, we have two possible options. One option is this and another is this. So, this is the branches or edges. Another is the nodes. These are the nodes or these are the possible states. Alright. Another is the leaf node the leaf node. Here as you can see this is the root node. So these two are the leaf nodes of this root node A. Let's say this is the B node. If we say this is a root node then these two are the leaf nodes of root number B. Alright. So leaf node represents terminal state. It represents the Terminal states where game ends. Where game ends. Like uh, we win, we lose, we, uh, we have a draw match. Anything can happen here. Another state can be your depth. Alright, so depth is nothing but it is a number of levels. It is the number of Levels in the tree corresponds to the number of moves or turns in the game. For example, in this tree, we have what is the depth? Depth 1, depth 2. If we have another node, then it will be called depth 3. That is the number of levels. Alright, so this is how a basic game tree works in online gaming. Other than this, we have some other definitions like it is used to systematically explore the decisions in a game with each node representing a game state and each edge representing a move or action taken by a player. Game trees are fundamental in studying and solving the games, particularly in AI where they provide a framework for analyzing optimal strategies and making the decisions. Some examples. Okay, so some examples include your TikTok tic-tac-toe. 
First example can be tic tac toe. So a simple game that is played on a three by three grid. We all must know about this. It is a three by three grid game where players alternate placing X or we all played this game, right? Let's say if I place cross here, you can place your another number here. If I place cross here, you will definitely place this here. So this is a tic-tac-toe game. ठीक है इसमें possibilities हैं. Game tree के basis पे ये काम करता है. Another is no. Uh, so its root node what is the root node? We have discussed root node is the empty grid. It is an empty grid. This is called the root node. Alright. Branches are what? Branches are all possible first moves. We have nine possible moves here. We have nine possible moves. It can be that I place here, 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 I place here. So all these are called branches. What is the depth? Depth up to level 9. Since there are at most 9 moves in a game. So, level can be, depth can be 9. Alright, so leaf node what? Leaf node can, uh, represents the terminal state. The terminal state can be win state, can be a loss uh, state or can be a draw state. Alright. Another example is chess game. So, it is a two-player strategy game with complex rules and a large decision space. So, in this particular game, the root node can be the initial chessboard configuration. Their branches can be all legal moves from current position. Their depth can be, the, uh, their depth can be limited by the number of turns considered. For example, 6 play or 8 play. Alright. Usage of a game tree in chess game can be chess engine like deep blue use advanced algorithms to prune and explore the tree efficiency. Whenever we play online chess with artificial intelligent devices, then definitely you must know that this is the game tree ke basis. Pe hi run ho raha hai. Another example can be connect four. Here players drop colors, color disc into a grid aiming to form a line of colors. Line of basically four. Alright. Another example is go game. So it is a strategy board game where player plays stones to capture the, uh, capture the territory. Another game is checkers. So it is a two player game where pieces moves diagonally and aims to capture the opponent's piece. Alright. Another is rock, paper, scissor. This is very common game. We all play this game online as well. So a simple game where players choose between three options simultaneously. We have three options. One is rock, another is paper, another is season. So we have so many possibilities. Okay, we have so many possibilities here. So to check the best possible solution, we always use game tree algorithm for this particular game. So students, if we talk about tic-tac-toe, it is a very simple game that is fully dependent on game tree and it is fully analyzed for perfect strategies. Chess and Go game, uh, Go game are basically thodi si complex games that require heuristic or machine learning to navigate the immense game tree. Alright, now we have some key characteristics. We have some key characteristics. First is hierarchical structure. So as we all know, tree structure is nothing but it is an it is a hierarchical structure. So tree starts from the root node, representing the initial state of the game. Here branches represent possible moves, and tree grows deeper as sequence of moves unfolds. So we can go deeper and deeper and deeper. That is called the levels of the game tree. Another is game states and nodes. So each node represent. So this is the root node. Alright. 
this is the these two are the another nodes we have so many nodes over here all right so each node represent a possible configuration possible configuration of the game at the specific point of time next we have as a terminal node uh, okay we have players alternating moves so let's take an example in two player games nodes alternate between states resulting from player 1 moves and player 2 moves right another is terminal node so leaf node here is the leaf node let's say this is the end node called the leaf node it represents the end state of the game such as win lose or draw that is the terminal node remember one point every terminal node in game tree has no children एंड में जो भी नोड्स होंगे दीज आर कॉल्ड दी लीव नोड्स और द टर्मिनल नोड्स अनदर इज द डिसीजन प्रोसेस सो पाथ फ्रॉम वन रूट टू टर्मिनल नोड्स रिप्रेजेंट सीक्वेंस ऑफ मूव्स और डिसीजन सो प्लेयर सेम टू चूज पाथ दैट मैक्सिमाइज देयर एडवांटेज और मिनिमाइज देयर लॉस दैट इज द डिसीजन प्रोसेस बेस्ड ऑन game tree algorithm so i hope students everything is clear till now if you have any doubt you can definitely comment below i will help you so thank you so much and all the very best